Okay. Hey, it's Amanda Rose from beautiful Abacoa. I just finished an incredible event here and I'm super excited. I have a special guest with me, Tina Vavant. Woohoo! <laughs> Tina is so awesome. Tina is actually my event, Empowered Speaker event photographer. She makes people look so gorgeous. But I asked Tina to join me today because I have questions. I honestly don't know how to take great photos. I really don't. Are you supposed to look up here? Are you supposed to look down here? What do you do with your hair, your eyes? How do you turn your body? So we're gonna address some of those things. And if you're interested in seeing Tina and myself at Empowered Speaker event, go to empoweredspeakerevent.com, empoweredspeakerevent.com. So Tina, my first question for you is, when you're having photos taken at an event, maybe you're a speaker or you want to be a speaker, what kind of things should uh, should we do when we want to take great photos? Okay, so are you the speaker or are you in the audience? I'm the speaker. Okay, so she's the speaker. So you'll notice today she's wearing a beautiful solid color dress. So she's gonna throw me under the bus. No, I'm not gonna throw you under the bus. And you always look wonderful and you always look smoking. But when you're wearing a print, it's taking the attention away from this, where I wanna be paying attention to what she's saying and the wisdom that she's imparting. If I'm looking at her stripes and her flowers and everything, it's very busy on the eye. Plus, if you're wearing the stripes horizontal, you're gonna look wider, which is not always very complimentary. If you're wearing a busy floral print, people tend to watch the floral print. Amanda Rose has done something really smart. She's got a solid color dress and she's got a, st oh, sorry. <laughs> she's got a statement necklace. So that's keeping all the attention up here. So when she speaks, I'm more likely to keep eye contact with her because I'm looking at the bling and I'm not distracted by what she's wearing on the bottom. So when Tina told me I have, they weren't over the top prints, they were subtle prints, yeah. even a lace dress. So she said to me, Amanda Rose, when I'm taking the photos of you, my eyes are going to your dress. They're not going to you. And I have lots of prints, I love prints. Mm -hmm. So I went on a mission for Empowered Speaker event. <laughs> Number two is to find solid dresses. Because, and I agree with you, I could see that even though I didn't love hearing it because I love my prints, but. You, and, and they're listen. not horrible, they're still good pictures, right. but, but they will be even more powerful and your audience will be paying more attention to you. So I always tell people, you know I steer people, here's another tip. Mm -hmm. I steer people away from wearing black, white, or gray because unless you're that deep Mediterranean, dark hair, dark skin, dark eyes, or you wear makeup really well and you know how to apply it, those colors are gonna drain from your skin. It's your picture. If you want to wear it, wear it. You're the one that has to look at it, not me. My whole thing is when I'm guiding people mm -hmm. and making a suggestion, it's you, if you wanna wear like a busy print, it's your business. You should have the picture you love. But if you look good, I look even better. <laughs> <laughs> and as speakers, and even people in speakers in the making, you want to look your best. So if you present something that has an image with a, and I do, I agree with her. It took me a moment. I had to kind of, you know, I kick and scream sometimes. I had to kind of settle into what she was saying. So when you see this pink dress, you're also, but you're focusing on my face. You're not focusing on, now Tina wasn't speaking, but she has a busier print on, right? So if I was wearing that, you, as a speaker, you would be looking at the print sometimes. Oh, I like this color in the print, so it would pull your eyes. So the other thing I want to talk to you about, and as I mentioned, I do not know how to take great photos. And hello, Andrew, we love you, Andrew. <laughs> so one of the things that you have us do when you, we take photos, is you have us turn, you have us look certain ways, you, you have all these magical tips. Mm -hmm. Yes, so please help us with okay. that. So most of our experience with photographers are school pictures, and they're usually not a pleasant experience <laughs> because I don't know about you, but I was a dorky kid with glasses, braces, and long hair, and I hated picture day because I always thought I looked even dorkier than I did look. And it wasn't a fun experience. You know, it's very quick, it's dirty. I do do pictures in 44 schools, so I've gotten really good at it, and I'm a people person, and I love kids. So our experience starts there. None of us are supermodels. We don't really know what to do. Really? Well, we, we <laughs> think we are, but we're not. So. We don't, nobody's teaching us this. It's just like, you know, they don't teach us some of the basic things in school. We should be learning them home, but unless your parents are professional photographers, there's no way for you to know. So a really easy thing is, again, a solid color is great. Avoid black, white, or gray. And you want to avoid, I saw a couple people when we were doing groups say, you know, they were doing like, if we were taking a picture today, they were doing this. So I'll say, turn your chin this way because you want an even amount of white on your eyes. You don't want to be like, what you talking about with mm. this, you know, like, that side I think. So turn. And the other thing I always say is keep your neck tall, tall neck, chin down, mm -hmm. stretch forward. 
What we did is we just created a shadow. So if we're over 25, which I think we both are. No, don't give um, away my secret. <laughs> um, and then the other thing is when we're together, we want to tend to do this and hug. Now we both look wider. But if we oh. angle, look, our faces are closer together. So I got to stick my, okay, so I got to tall, tall shoulders down, right? Mm -hmm. Stick my chin out. And forward. And forward. And now look natural. <laughs> That's the hard part. And then another thing but is. It'll get, it will get easier. Yeah. And you're not going to walk around like that. <laughs> the other thing is, if you're taking a bunch of pictures, remember at your wedding day, your face hurt from smiling mm -hmm. all day? Mm -hmm. So one thing if you're taking a rapid succession of pictures is in the middle of a few takes, blow. I remember you saying that. That's the opposite of this, mm -hmm. which my friend that does face yoga loves. <laughs> because you're stretching the muscles in your face the opposite way. You won't get that cheesy, fakey, cheesy smile because you'll be more natural because you've rested in between. So you could always say, tell the photographer, wait a minute, Low and then go back. Awesome. So I Thank think you for we helping me. Tips. I think we gave great tips. So let me just share a couple of things. Hi, Jessica. Jessica is going to be in at Empowered Speakers. So if you want to see Tina and myself, come back over here a second. <laughs> at Empowered Speaker. And so hold on, Hubby's calling, but he's getting declined. <laughs> so if you want to learn more about Empowered Speaker, go to empoweredspeakerevent.com. Where are we going to be talking about how to book speaking opportunities, how to have a clear message, a captivating message, and a compelling message so you ultimately can get the results that you want. You get an incredible workbook and every tool that you need, systems, step-by-step -step checklist, I deliver but I also bring in incredible people to support your journey. And so Tina not only takes the photos of the event, but she also offers portrait opportunities. You want to talk about that? Uh, we're running a special then. So if you pre-book, I won't say the price because we might have to raise it if you know mm -hmm. we get a lot. So uh, if you pre-book with me, you'll get a very special rate. And we had quite a few people at the last Empowered Speaker in April that did their portraits with me. They hit the ground running because yeah. they already had that done. So that helps their branding. That helps them hit the ground running. They're already going to be one step ahead of the other speakers. That's right. Because just like the words that you communicate, your image represents what you communicate too. So if you have one of those headshots that you've taken on a cell phone or your neighbor took or you've got some weird shadowing on your face, it doesn't communicate the message that you want. You want to call people forward. You want to say, I'm about something. I've got something important to say. Listen to me. And your photo does that just as well as the words that you communicate in your when you're presenting. So make sure that you contact Tina. And Tina, how's the best way to get a hold of you? you I'll put my link down here in the bottom of the comments when awesome. I get back in. Awesome. And I gotta tell you, I tell, Tina whitens your teeth. So you're gonna have to have your teeth whitened. She'll give you lashes. She's giving me lashes. Even <laughs> out the skin tone. I don't like to overly edit yes. because then you go somewhere and people are like, who the heck are mm -hmm. you? So just as if you had professional makeup, I'm like clear out concealer on their bottom, whiten the teeth and the eyes a little bit, and even out the skin tone. Take away the shine on guys. I don't do a lot with guys. I even out the skin tone, remove the shine, maybe brighten your teeth a little. Yep, and I've seen the photos that Tina's taken. I've seen the photos that portraits that she's taken from people that have hired her at my event, and they've been amazing. Thank you. Absolutely amazing. Thank you. So remember to go to empoweredspeakerevent.com where you're going to get to know. Great tips. Thank you, Andrew. You're going to get to know what Empowered Speaker Event is and how much that's going to help you double and even triple your speaking results, even if you are brand new. Ahmed, thank you so much for joining us. And we'll be sharing some more. So if you love this video and you think it's going to benefit your friends, please make sure that you go ahead and like the video, share the video, and tell other people that Tina has given us some great tips so we can all look gorgeous in photos. Thank you so much. All right, bye, everybody. We'll Lots of love soon. to you all. Bye.